Watch me. I'ma get it how I wanna get it, you don't get it. I can do anything, I don't got a limit. I'ma make my mind up, I'm committed. It might take some time, might take a minute. I won't give up, I don't give a shit. I do what All I right, guys, Andy Elliott, welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. Um, as I'm sitting here with my good buddies, and I mean this when I say this, these are very good friends of mine. Um, these guys, I've watched them just kick butt. I've watched them recreate their lives. They were winners, and they just keep winning and, and doing more and doing more and doing more and keep raising the bar. And every time I see them, you guys are just doing such big stuff. I'm just like, man, I need to share you guys with the world. So um, these are two very good friends of mine. Uh, we're like family. We do do business together, and we are also family. Um, they take such good care of their people. It's very hard to explain uh, the way that they love people, the way they take care of them. I say it's almost like a brotherhood. Um, but they also make a lot of money. Um, you know, it's it's cool to do business and family together. You don't see that a lot anymore. Um, I want to have them kind of pick up on a little bit about what they're doing right now, who they are, where they're from. Um, maybe an opportunity for you guys to to connect with them, to, to to kick ass like they are. But I think we were just talking about the time we're making this right now. It's May of 2024, and it's an election year. We were talking about it's a recession mm -hmm. yep. is what a lot of people are saying. I'm not saying <laughs> it is because I'm kicking ass and I'm breaking records and I'm winning, and so are you guys. Yeah. But a lot of people are saying, hey, it's tough out there. Hey, it's hard. Hey, the economy. Hey, the market. Hey, it's an election year. Hey, all this crap. Hey, maybe for a second you're in the wrong organization. Maybe you're around the wrong leaders. Maybe you're in the wrong boat. Okay? Okay, so let, why don't we talk a little bit about that? Why don't you guys introduce yourself and tell them a little bit about who you are in case they haven't met you. They've been with me through many podcasts already. They've rolled with me for the last couple of years. Um, it's just they're good friends of mine. So, so Tanner... Why don't you talk to them a little yeah. bit about what you guys are doing and, um, you know, a little bit about, like, how you guys are winning and yeah, what yeah. you guys stand for and, you know, show everybody some love so everybody know who you are. Yeah. Well, Andy, dude, thanks for having us back on yeah. the podcast. You bet. It's Absolutely. always good to be down here in Arizona with you guys. Um, guys, I'm Tanner Hale. I have been in the door-to-door -door space for 10-plus years. And anybody who knows it, it is an up-and-down space. The only people that actually last this long in door-to-door are the guys that are doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. And Andy knows, I mean, we've been working together for years now mm -hmm. uh, through multiple companies. And I'm glad you brought up that whole like recession thing because there's so many guys right now in this industry, in other industries, mortgages, real estate, who are going through all these problems. And it's almost like this fear that they have, like what's gonna happen this year? Where we are, our trajectory is freaking 10 out of 10. We're headed to freaking Mars. And one, I'm just like, I'm grateful for my brothers. I'm grateful for everything we brought over here to Innova. Mm -hmm. um, but most of all, I want everybody to know that this is going to be, we're primed for our biggest year yet. And there is, it's projected there's going to be more solar installed uh, this year than ever before. And so with utility rates, interest rates, like we don't care about any of that because we have the right brotherhood, we have the right guys. Talk about brotherhood, what does that mean? Because you're, you're a company. Yeah. So most people say my employees. Right. Right, so like, but you're calling this your family. Oh, yeah. bro, this, these are our brothers. So let's talk about that. Guys and gals, right? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. let's talk about that a little bit. Like, like what is a, what does a day, you know, in your company look like? How do you guys treat each other? What does that look like? I know if I walk, I mean, hypothetically, if I walk into a car dealership, there's a manager sitting behind a desk. There are salespeople that are on the lot waiting to take phone calls or go shake someone's hand. You know, there's a lot of disconnect. They're not being negative. I love the car business. But a lot of industries, it's like there's that department, this department, this department. You guys seem yeah. to be running as like a, a, an army almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We're running as an army. Yeah, so let's talk about that a little bit, like, well, what, like what it looks like. Ben, talk to him about, like, we weren't men, men were not meant to be alone. <clears throat> yeah, so I think <clears throat> there, like, a big problem that we have today, especially with men, you know, is, you know, this lone wolf mentality, right? The idea know. that I'm by myself, I don't need help, I can do it on my own. And then we see, you know, suicide rates going up, depression rates going up, divorce rates going up. And there's a big attack, right, on men right now, mm -hmm. right, from society as a whole, right? That men, you know, what we do and what we did and being a man is not okay anymore. And that's something that we take very seriously and take personally. And we do not operate on the lone wolf mentality uh, platform. We are a brotherhood and we are a family. And one thing that, you know, Andy, that you've taught us and that we've implemented and have found a tremendous amount of success with is you got to work on yourself first, right? Before you think that production and something that you're a career path or a choice mm -hmm. in your life is going to change. If you're not a better person first, mm -hmm. your career is never going to change. So for me, so good. yeah. And so, for, so we believe ardently in that we have high expectations on our guys. We meet regularly with our guys. We have goals with our guys, not just 
not just around our company, but around yourself and around yourself personally. Hey guys, Andy Elliott. I'm sure you heard of the big two to three day event Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins just released on the internet, right? And by the way, I put that offer below. It's life changing, but guess what? The people that take action on this link below, I'm gonna give them $40,000 in training for free. They're giving a money back guarantee offer on Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins training link below that their training will change your life. If not, they'll give you your money back. I'm adding all these bonuses because I'm partnering with them and I'm giving it all to you for free and even if you get your money back you keep all my stuff for free that's how crazy this is I'm gonna be doing three zoom calls for one hour how to build your courses how to create content literally how I generate 150 million views on social media every 30 days how I get 1500 leads a day organically into my company with zero ad spend or media spend and by the way you see this book I'm holding my hand I'm gonna give you this entire book right here it's how to build a hundred million dollar business and you're gonna have it A to Z it's yours guys I love you I I appreciate you. I'm telling you right now, I changed my life. My family's in a good place. I never imagined that things like this could happen for a guy like me. I don't care what you've been through. Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi's training below will change your life. I'm gonna give you all of this, $40,000 in training for free. Better than money back guaranteed. Click on the link below, change your life now. I don't come from solar. I'm not, you know, Tanner's got amazing experience in the solar industry. I don't. So there are a lot of people in the world that I remember having those conversations with myself like, there's something better. There's something else out there for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to get to it, but I know that there's something better. And so fortunately, right, I was able to, with Tanner's help and with my business partner's help, create an environment and create a family where everyone can exceed and level up to something that you've never achieved before. And we do that together. We do that as a brotherhood and as a family, not alone. It's not a lone wolf mentality. Yeah, I love that. You, you so, so everybody understand this. Do you want a big outcome in your life? You can't get a big outcome unless you change who you are. Yeah. And a lot of people, they chase outcomes, right? Like, I want to go get that money. I want to go get this. Yeah. And until you work on yourself, you don't get any of that because until you change, nothing changes. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why it seems like in the core of y'all's company, self-development, yep. making people oh, yeah. better people is like seems to be your number one thing over even quota because you know the quota will get hit or the numbers will get broke when those people become better people. 100%. It's a total reverse analogy from what most companies do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most people are like, dude, you know what, you know what, what is your skill? How good are you at this? And you're like, hey, how good are you going to be to our customers? You know, like if I teach you, are you coachable? You know, are you willing to educate? Because we really don't sell anybody in this in this company. Selling is a service. We service people by educating them on what's going on in, in the space. And then those people make decisions based off the way we educate them. Yeah. And you teach people to be great people. When you're in front of somebody that's good, that literally is helping you, well, what do you do? You, you say yes. Yep. Yeah. And I yes. mean, there's that saying that's like, as the water, as the tide goes up, no, how does it go? As the tide rides, all ship rises. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, being in the industry, I do for so many years, we're slowly pulling over the best, the very, very top guys and bringing them under one roof. Mm -hmm. And so when I've got like a new person who's never sold solar before, never done sales before, but they have the right heart, they have the right mentality and they want to level up, whether they're not surrounded by the right guys or they're not with the right sales company, they can come into a Nova and they can level up as with all ass. of our leadership and kick ass. But let's talk about like, I know this isn't everything, but let's touch on it one time and then we'll pivot off of it. Yeah. Let's talk about earning opportunity inside of solar. Okay. I mean, let's talk about it. Like yeah. everybody, mostly that's all they talk about. I would like to talk about it one time and then move off of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you tell a story about maybe someone who has started who didn't have a lot of experience and then maybe tell a story of someone who worked for another solar company and pivoted yeah. to Jaws and maybe something that they said that how you guys operate differently yeah. that they um, enjoy. In fact, yeah, uh, one of our sales leaders comes to my mind. His name is Mikhail Provost. He's a friend, homie of mine, and uh, we've moved companies together. And, you know, Mikhail, he was 22 years old. He was living in Southern California uh, selling gym memberships, mm. uh, living in his parents' basement, smoking weed, not doing anything exciting with life. And uh, he was invited to come out for the opportunity. His first trip, though, Andy, I will say, he didn't sell anything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But I knew he had the right heart. I knew he had the right mentality. And uh, you know, it was fun because once he started getting the hang of things, I started to put a lot of leadership on him. So I started to pump recruits, and he was, I'm younger than these guys. They're not going to listen to me, whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. um, fast forward, last year, he did $1.3 million in profit. He's 23 years old, bro. Yeah. Changed his life. Um, you know, he goes and visits his family back in California yeah. and he's treating mom and dad. 
He's taking him out to Nobu. That's so He's crazy. taking him out for a ride on the boat. Yeah. And uh, it's not about all about the money, but it's about the person you become that it requires you to become by making that yeah, type well, of money. Well, he's experiencing life on a whole nother level oh, now. Completely. You know, like, l listen, uh, money gives you choices. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always like to tell people, like, money doesn't fix all your problems, but money will give you choices. If you yeah. don't have money, it's really hard when you have limited choices sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Money gives me options. Yep. And so, like, when you have – look, we're all going to work. The time's going to pass anyways. Every person watching this is going to work. They're going to work somewhere. They're going to give their hours up. The question is, what are you going to give it for? Okay? Like, what's the return of it? I, I was telling this kid yesterday. I'm so glad you said this. And I said this to this kid, and he kind of looked at me, and he, he was didn't really understand it. And I think this is the problem with the world right now. Okay. And I, it's not about money, but it's about, it's about decisions, it's about choices. It's about where you plant yourself at 22, 23, 19 years old. Where yeah. are you at? Yeah. You need to be in opportunities like this. This is where you need to be. And let me explain why this kid just goes to college. He, he does four years. He gets out. He's 22 years old. He sees me at the Scottsdale quarter. He's like, Oh my God, Andy Elliott. Oh man. He's like, dude, I've been watching you for years. He's like, dude, you're my mentor. Let's take a picture. And then when I was done, I said, Hey, what are you doing right now? He goes, dude, I graduate next week. Um, and then I'm going back to South Carolina. I've already got a job in sales. I said, dude, good job, man. What are you going to sell? He's like, I'm going to sell suits. I said, okay, cool. Suits is cool. Right. Yeah. Um, I said, you know, Hey, let's say you bust your ass. You take all the things that I tell you, you give it all you got. What can you earn? Earning potential. I just want to know quickly. What, what mm -hmm. did they tell you? He said, if I kick ass, man, you know, if I, if I break the records, I do everything great. I can make a hundred grand. I said, cool. How many year, how many hours do we work a day? He says, I'll probably work 10, 10, 11 hours a day. I said, cool, man. Five days a week. He said, yeah, five days a week. Got two days off, man. You know, he's like, but yeah, I'm going to make my first six figures. I said, dude, I love that. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? What if you could go and you had another opportunity that you could go sell? It wouldn't be suits. It'd be something that helped people with their homes. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm not trying to convert anybody to solar. I'm just asking. And you could make a million dollars your first year. That would be like selling suits for 10 years. That'd be like from 22 to 32. But, inst but you could do from 22 to 23, you could make a million. It would save you 10 years. Mm hmm yeah, but I, I already got this job at the suit place, though. It's like, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 I, I get it. Yeah. College, love it. Yeah. Discipline, uh, you got to do your work. Yeah. You got to show up. Super important. They teach you a lot of shit. Yeah. It flew over his head. Yeah. Okay? This suit shop is no different than working with you guys. I mean, it is a difference, but my point is, is that he's going to go. He's going to give it all he's got. But he could go give it all he's got to you guys for many years but for one year he could earn what the suit shop would pay him in 10 years yeah he doesn't love suits yeah. he got a job the idea of it is is i wish people would understand that we're living in an opportunity right now where everybody's asleep mm -hmm. and if you ever wanted to be a killer now's your time where you say hey i want to be a killer mm -hmm. so this next two or three years i'm going to go find myself a good organization with good people in it that will make me a better person i'm going to move to wherever i need to move mm -hmm. i'm going to give it all i got and I'm literally going to get ahead in life. Mm -hmm. That 23 year old kid, by the time he's 26 years old, he's gonna have a couple million cash saved up. He is a multimillionaire in his mid twenties because he made a good decision and he joined you, Tanner. Yep. Yep. That, that's all he did. He didn't, he didn't have any special skill, okay? You trained him on that skill when he worked for you. You said the guy got his ass kicked when he came out. He's sleeping on his mom's couch. He was smoking weed. This guy didn't show up with any skill. You know what? You guys saw something in somebody, and just like you saw something, you know, like, like I always see me and other people, and I'm like, God, man, I wish I could have got a hold of me a long time ago. And then you're a business owner, mm -hmm. so you're always like, hey, what's going to make us money? You know, what's good for our life? You know, what's yeah. what's going to make us happy? You know, and then you're like, oh, shoot. Well, Tanner knows this space so well, but Tanner knows this space so well that he also knows that 9 out of 10 people that have been in this space for a long time are not very good people. And that's why those people are leaving. They're getting flushed out. And there's this new era coming in. And there are some good companies coming in. But you guys you guys call everything family. You call it a brotherhood. You call it um, self-development, you know. Um, and you just you have this love and this sternness, right, mm -hmm. that, hey, we're going to win, but we're also going to, you know, take good care of you. It, it's, it, it's really rare. But anyways, I was telling you about that suit, that kid going to sell suits mm -hmm. that, like, man, like, I wish somebody would have got me when I was 22. You know what I mean? I wish they would have just, you know, just... It, 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 and I got to tell you guys, it's not a lie. It's not fake. It's not, it, it's real shit. The check's cash. It's, it's yeah. a real company. It's as real as it gets. It's just, it's just, it's so hard to let anyone see when they haven't seen it. Like you've seen it. Seen we've it. been together. We, we've seen what's happened. I tell someone, 
you know, what to do. We built a nine figure business. I'm like, this is what you need to do. And then they look at you and they just go back to doing what they were doing, mm -hmm. you know? And I just, I want some people today to raise their hand and be like, dude, like, I like, I'm not going to be loyal to anyone. I'm gonna be loyal to me. Yeah. Like not, not like selfishly, like and screw everybody else. But like, like, do you want to change your bloodline? Like, do you want to do something great? Like, if, if you're not sitting in front of somebody that's sitting in front of you like Tanner right now that's saying, hey, I want you to become, you know, the best you can be. I want you to become the, the, the most awesome person in the world. I want to help you. I want to be there with you and stuff. He's saying, hey, men are, you know, made to do life with someone else. Yeah. You're not supposed to be a lone wolf. Here's Andy. Five years ago, he was a car salesman. He went to one of our first events we first started, quit selling cars. He's one of the fastest growing sales training organizations in the country. He's this year on target, he tells us to do a hundred million dollars in revenue. That's extreme. Hey guys, you just heard it from Tony Robbins himself. He just said it. Literally a hundred million dollar business we built in the last four years from Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins freaking training. It's your turn right now. They just released an offer to the world, which you can click the link below and get right now, but stop because I'm going to give you a better than money back guarantee and I'm adding all kinds of bonuses to it. All right. So holding in my hand right now is a book. It's called the hundred million dollar A to Z and the Elliott build. This is the Empire build. You want a $10 million business? Cool. You want to build a hundred? I've got it per year and I'll give it to you on my way to a billion. It'll teach you how to generate 150 million views every 30 days on social media. It'll show you how to build a sales team. I'm going to teach you how to become the world's greatest salesperson. Three hours of Zoom training, me teaching you how to I create my courses, how do I create my memberships, how do I form and make my offers. I'm going to show you how to do it. If you can make one hour a week, one hour a week work, I can show you how to make an additional hundred grand a week. So I love you guys. I'm going to give you all these bonuses, literally $40,000 is in bonuses for free money back guarantee better than money back, which means even if you return Dean's and Tony's training that you buy below, even if you returned it, you get to keep all mine for free. Okay. You can't beat that anywhere in the world. It worked for me. It's going to work for you. Click on the link below. We'll get you guys set up now. Let's change your family's life. You know, we want you to run by our side. We want to be there with you when it's hard, when you're struggling, when you got shit going on, we want to push through this shit with you. Look to your left and look to your right. Who in the hell is doing that with you? No one. So when you see stuff like this, and dude, people getting in now while y'all's company's booming can be a part of the big picture. Mm -hmm, 100%. Right? Like, like you guys aren't hiring salespeople. You're hiring leaders. Yes. Right? And yes. can we talk about that? Like uh, someone comes in, they perform, they do well, and then now they establish a, tra a team, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's just all just... Yeah. It's, it's crazy. The stuff I, you teach them, they're teaching others. And I love that you shared that story about this kid. And he mentioned, you know, I'm going to make six figures if I go and kill it. And Andy, 10 years ago, that was really good. This day and age, inflation, the cost of everything, six figures isn't going to change your life. No. It'll barely, I, it won't even keep the lights on at my place. Mm -hmm. And so it takes sometimes, guys need to see other kids in their 20s who don't come from anything, who've never done sales before. They go and they succeed and they see these checks. I remember this, there's a sales kid, a uh, bunch of credit card debt, car payment, everything else. Um, you know, he came out, he started learning the job. I think it was month two. He had a couple five figure weekly checks, paid off the car, paid off the credit cards, sent mom and dad some cash. Mm -hmm. And it's those type of guys that are really the guys I'm looking for. Yeah. So right? think about that what he said. Hungry. He said, he said five figure weekly checks. Oh yeah. He didn't yeah. say monthly checks. He said weekly checks. Yeah. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast as you're watching my boys from Anova. These guys are kicking ass, man. They're the best. You can tell by talking to them or just listening to them. Um, they're winners. They love life. They love helping people in an, in an era where I think maybe there's a recession. Maybe there's a bubble about to pop. Maybe it's election year, whatever everybody says, this market, this economy, whatever. These guys are killing it, man. And when they drop this message and they're sharing value, what they're doing in their life, like this is an opportunity for you to look in the mirror and reflect and be like, dude, am I where I'm supposed to be? And if you're not, and you're like, I need to, I need to roll with some guys like this. I need to change my family. I need to become a legend. This is your opportunity. Okay. You guys see the number below. It's very simple. I'm just going to tell you how to do this. Okay. If you believe in yourself, if you think you're worth more, if you want to roll with people like this, if you want to change your entire life, just like how I changed mine, how they changed theirs, you guys just text the number below. That's all you gotta do. Text the number and say, Hey, I'm interested in kicking ass with you guys. That's it. That's our language. Okay. And they'll reach out. They'll tell you what the next steps are. And then you guys, welcome to your new home. Okay. You can make more money, you know what to do with and have a fulfilled life. And I think that's what you guys bring to the table. So love you guys. Let's get back to the video. If you're looking for your opportunity, text the number below. See you guys soon. That, that makes me want to go work hard.
Okay. If you don't, if you're not in a position, if you don't have a career or a company that you're working for, that right now you're thinking about your pay plan that says, God, I want to go work hard. You're in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. bro. I, I wake up every day stoked yep. to go work. Yeah. And people ask me, they're like, Tanner, you, you're traveling every week. You're training. You're flying here. You're flying there. Like you're up late. You're up early. Bro, I, I get energy off this shit. Well, you guys I, are I like helping a lot guys. of people. Yeah. 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 yeah that's Just your... like you. Like you see these guys come in, leave, have a transformation. Bro, you get off on that. Yeah. You want to go time. do it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you fast as possible. Mm -hmm. You're like, dude, like. Like, I got to go do that again really quickly. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about if someone's watching this and they are in the solar era yeah. or they've had oh. buddies and they're thinking, you know, man, I know how the solar business works, right? Let's just say, right, you guys have changed the game. You guys have fixed a lot of holes in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can we talk a little bit about that so we can educate on, like, some yeah. stuff that you guys are doing that's a little different? So let me talk, like, it's it's kind of a weird dichotomy, but it, it makes sense. Like, I, you know, I said I didn't come from solar. I did the path, the institutional path. I went to school. I went to law school. I did all the things that like, you know, mom and dad said, hey, you should do. And I did that. And I had a lot of success. And then I peaked, right? If I could go back, I say this now, if I could go back, I would do exactly what Tanner's doing. I would do exactly what our guys are doing now. Yeah. So I get so geeked off of seeing what these young kids are doing and how smart they're, be they're being as long as they're ready to work hard. But the dichotomy is, right? I've, I, what I've done at least is because I went the path that I, that I did, I have taken those skills and I have created a foundation within this company mm -hmm. that has solved a lot of the problems with solar. Here's what's going on in solar today, right? Overall, you have, uh, you have sales orgs and then you have EPCs. And those are the installation side of things. So mm -hmm. as a, you know, if you're selling solar, you've got to have a, somebody who's going to install it and run the operations. Those two are not working together very well. You see it every day. You see it every day. So I get we get calls every day from solar from from guys in the industry saying, "Hey, I I need an installer. I need this. You need more than that. You need a company to work for. We're not a sales org and we're not an installer. We are a company and we do it all in-house. We control Huge. we control the experience from A to Z. Huge. And we don't drop balls and we are bulletproof. Mm -hmm. And so we're not looking. Here's the thing. Because in my mind, I'm not trying to attract the guys necessarily that want to have a summer job. Now, if you're in school and you're doing something and you want to test the waters, you can try it if you're ready. If you're ready for, for the standards and the expectations that we have. We're a company that you, can, career guys. that you can make a career out of. Yeah. That's the difference. Guys yeah. can come in and make this their last yeah. job, literally. And, yeah. and why? Because our operational model behind the scenes, while Tanner is running the sales and doing a spectacular job at it, we're bulletproofing everything else. Mm. There are no missteps. Love and that. we and, and, and I, I can say that, right? Because we're at the point now where we have what t never happens in this industry, the CEOs and the industry leaders of banks and of funds and of fintechs coming to us saying, hey, will you please partner with us uh -huh. so that we can give you all the, that we have, all of our resources mm. and products, because we're only looking for strong companies which don't exist exactly in this industry. which we can't find right now yeah so that's the difference right so for you know even though i maybe you can say made a mistake and went the wrong route and did go to college because you know the no, roi on god, college today is terrible right no, no, it's changed i mean well god took I've you made the, the best way he needed it. to take you because that's yeah. how you guys got together 100 percent, 100 percent. but I, w I will tell you um you took all that you you didn't know about tanner's opportunity right when you were going to school yeah okay yeah had you known about it then, um, you might have taken that road and you could have been 10 times more ahead than yeah. you are right now. Yeah. Um, that's not the path that worked out for you. All of us have a different path. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that anybody's path is wrong, yeah. but the idea of about, about it is, is that there's choices now. And we're in the, I, we, we call it the solar boom, but we're in the, we're in the era of amateurs in the solar industry, which are going out of business left and right. And the pros are making all the money. It, there's this market share. There's this big piece of the pie that used to get spread out over a thousand companies. And now this big piece of the pie is about to get taken by, I think about five, 10 companies. Yeah. And then all the amateurs That's are exactly out. That's exactly right. And you guys are going to be a big part of that big piece of the pie. Yep. And you guys are building it your way. What does that mean? You've seen how people have gotten treated, and you said, hey, we don't want to treat people that way. Mm -hmm. You said, hey, this is how we've got burned before. We, hey, we want to make sure people don't get burned that way. You said A to Z. We need to make sure that everything is all done in one house, one company. Mm -hmm. You've seen how the disconnect that seller guy, solar guys in other sales orgs could go and work their ass off and literally not get paid yeah. for the work that they've done. Yeah. And dude, we see it every freaking day. It's yep. silly. And, but and yep. you see these sales orgs, then they can't get the install side done. 
um, they're going out of business and they're letting a lot of people down. And mm-hmm. it, it, it's a constant cycle of amateur shit. Yeah. And that's that's kind of how it starts, though, is these guys that are in sales, usually, are, you know, the successful guys, they have a lot of ambition. So what do they do? They want to go I'm gonna their go start company. my own company. Yeah. Yeah. I want my name on the shirt. Yeah. Right. I want my name on the shirt. I want it to roll with my boys. I want my name's on the hat. And they're a sales organization, but they don't understand that you've got to be aligned with operations to fully control that experience. If you don't understand money and systems and processes, you're screwed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. screwed. That's right. Yeah. So you guys are very mature. Um, you guys are both polar opposites, but you're still the same. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean it like, you know, he's a wildcat crazy sucker up on the front line, <laughs> but, but who's super mature now oh, yeah. because he's been through it all. That's right. And he's like seen the dark side. Okay. And, mm-hmm. and truly, it wasn't always like that, Andy. Yeah. Like, I, I was selling door to door, originally pest control. Then I was recruited to another company, did alarm systems. And the truth is, I was making six figures my sophomore year in college. But I was recruiting a team, losing a team. Recruiting a team, losing a team. It's like yeah. spinning your wheels all oh, the time. Oh, I was spinning my wheels. And I just, I was, I was the guy. I like the fame. Tanner, you're the top salesman, whatever. Mm-hmm. But there was a point in which I said, I'm going to treat this like a real career. Yeah. I'm, I'm approaching my late twenties. I'm, I'm already, this is my experience. I'm already in and I'm going to treat this like a real career. And that's when I doubled down, you know, started doing more self-development and started working with the Elliott group. And ultimately that was when I was like, all right, I'm going to help everybody achieve this. Yeah. You're different. Human and it being. blew up. Yeah. And that's, yeah. that's like, that's the high bro is like, you get guys coming into the office, you know, well, and I can tell like, you know, and I want to tell everybody this, that, when, when someone goes through something that's really hurtful and really painful and you really want something to work out and it don't work out and then you get betrayed and, you know, you really get a chance to step back in life and go, I don't fucking like me. Mm-hmm. You know what? I need to change. Okay. Like I have attracted this because I am this. And, and not that you're a bad person, but you just, you need to sit back and say, I need to be better. Mm-hmm. And then when you become better. All of a sudden, the vision opens up. Yeah. And then he's got this idea, which you guys met, and he's like, this is my idea. And then you're like, dude, I've seen this. We can do that. Mm-hmm. And then you guys got together. You created the vision. You guys executed. And now you guys are blowing it up. Yeah. And you're building this cool army. And you know exactly what you want. You know what every single one of these men and women are going through. Mm-hmm. You know what the security they need. You know the love that they need. Mm-hmm. You know you know the... The, the ins and outs of everything. So your goal is to make it as easy on uh, as possible on them um, so it's not hard on them like it was hard on you. And you want to make sure that any of the things that you touch the stove and it was hot or you watch people get burned on, you want to make sure that those things are all plugged in on y'all's company so people don't feel that with you guys. And you want people to just come in and there's seasoned players, there's game players, and then there's career players. Yeah. And you're like, we just want career players. We want people to come here, give all they got. Mm-hmm. We want to teach you everything we know. We want you to have a family. Mm-hmm. We want you to build your life with us. Yeah. And you don't need to be in solar. You no, don't. You don't need that. experience. Yes. So we need to make sure we emphasize we that. You yeah. don't need to be in solar. Matter of fact, the solar sales days aren't even needed. You right. just need to educate. Mm-hmm. That's it. And you guys have such a good educating system that you mm-hmm. teach people to speak effectively about educating people. Yes. And then every single person, when they hooked into their energy on their house or they bought their home, mo- well, 100% of them were not given a secondary energy option to look at solar at yeah. that point. They plugged in. They got their house up and going. Yeah. And by the way, all the little amateurs that may have knocked on their door, those people don't mean anything. When you guys train these professionals, you teach them one knock, one door, one right education close it's very simple because once you hear what you guys know and which is the truth everybody says yes yeah and then you know even if it's not right for them it doesn't help them move on the next home you can't help yeah and you just keep moving and right now you got this giant piece of the pie this industry that's just waiting to save money waiting on help inflation keeps going up people are have already made the decision they want to save money mm-hmm. all we need to do is just work and, and, and there's not and another money. opportunity where you can go to somebody and actually help them save money, put their family in a better position, and they're not coming out of pocket. They're not spending any money, anything differently. Yeah, they're already spending it. They're already spending yeah, it. They've but already they're made throwing the it away. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. so like they already have what we're giving them. In fact, it's like if you're renting a home and you want to buy the home, if your landlord came to you and said, hey, let's just do a you know for rent to buy and no down payment. And you'll own it one day. You own it, and guess what? Instead of paying two grand for your rent, it's 1800 for the mortgage. 
Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Everybody yeah. would do it. It's, yeah. it's just an education. You're going to pay it anyways. You're going to pay it yeah. anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And one day at least you'll own it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, so many of these industries, it doesn't matter what you guys are working in. Like, people talking about a recession. I love that you brought that up. It's an election year. There's all this crazy shit going on. What if you're in the wrong boat? What if you row as hard as you can in the wrong oh, boat? I love that you said that because there are two types of salesmen. There is a rich salesman who is happy and on top of the world. And there is another salesman that is poor and broke and waiting on the next check. And the only difference, not that this guy works harder than this guy, this guy's in the right place with the right people. And like, that is the number one thing that we've brought to Innova is everything's under one roof. I was telling Ben last night, we're sitting at the hotel and I told him, dude, it's never been easier to recruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can literally sit next to anybody and it doesn't matter if they're with the big behemoth company, they're with the small company, I can recruit them logically over here mm -hmm. because we have all the right tools and resources and the right people are here. Well, really you can't recruit anybody that's happy. So like people that are happy, we're like, hey, what's going on? No, I got the best life ever. Yeah. Cool, we love you, have a blessed day. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, man, you know, just grinding. Okay, cool. Let's take that grind and put that into something good for yeah. you yeah. and let you become what you're supposed to become. Yeah. I think it was like maybe two years ago, um, you know, we were down here in the Lions down in Arizona. And I remember you told me, I was like, bro, I need to recruit some of your people to be selling solar with me. Uh -huh. And you, you told me, you go, Tanner, you, my people are unrecruitable. Yep. You can't recruit my people. That. And they don't work for money. They don't work for money. Yeah. yeah. Right? And so, and that's actually the, that's the truth, right? Like so many times I've recruited guys to a pay scale or just for money. And guess what? They leave just for money, just as quick. And so yeah. you've got to recruit them to the culture, yeah, the well, whole company. Well, when people find something real in their life, oh, yeah. something better can come along. And really it's not ever anything better. It just looks better, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's like you're married and a hot chick walks by and you're like, not a chance. Yeah. You right. don't even think. Right. But that's the world now. They're, 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 that's why so many people keep starting over. Mm -hmm. And so I, lo I love this opportunity. It makes me, as I'm 44 and I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you guys about, you know, when I was 21 years old, you know, I was beating the pavement, running up and down a car lot, you know, seven days a week, freaking 15, 18 hours a day. You know, I got paid sometimes between 100 to $500 a car, yeah. you know. Wow. And I'm thinking, dude, wow. I've watched some of these guys' checks and I'm like, it's crazy. No ways, man. I mean, no ways. Like, mm -hmm. what is going on? And then, honestly, I hated my managers. Yeah. I'm a, but but who doesn't? In sales, 99% of the people, they don't love their managers, man. They, they don't love who they work for. They don't love, they just want to make money. And the reason why they just want to make money is because there's no one there that's really trying to see them through to become a better person. I'm going to be honest with you. Until I was probably 35 years old, I never had anyone want anything good for me. Matter of fact, no one ever even knew my wife's name, mm. you know? I mean, I mean, truly like, dude, it's just, it, I was just, I was just a number, just a number, just a number, just a number. Mm. And when you're a good producer, as long as your numbers are up, they leave you alone and you make mm. your money and you, you move on. Yeah. I love that you guys are integrating the family into work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. just, it's just, it's just rare. It doesn't exist. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you're watching my boys from Innova, these guys are kicking ass, man. They're the best. You can tell by talking to them or just listening to them. Um, they're winners. They love life. They love helping people. In an, in an era where I think maybe there's a recession, maybe there's a bubble about to pop, maybe it's election year, whatever everybody says, this market, this economy, whatever, these guys are killing it, man. And when they drop this message and they're sharing value, what they're doing in their life, like this is an opportunity for you to look in the mirror and reflect and be like, dude, am I where I'm supposed to be? And if you're not, and you're like, I need to, I need to roll with some guys like this. I need to change my family. I need to become a legend. This is your opportunity. Okay. You guys see the number below. It's very simple. I'm just going to tell you how to do this. Okay. If you believe in yourself and you think you're worth more, if you want to roll with people like this, if you want to change your entire life, just like how I changed mine, how they change theirs. You guys just text the number below. That's all you got to do. Text the number and say, hey, I'm interested in kicking ass with you guys. That's it. That's our language. Okay? And they'll reach out. They'll tell you what the next steps are. And then you guys, welcome to your new home. Okay? You can make more money you know what to do with and have a fulfilled life. And I think that's what you guys bring to the table. So love you guys. Let's get back to the video. If you're looking for your opportunity, text the number below. See you guys soon. Well, and that's one thing I think that we're taking from you guys. Right. I remember seeing oh, one yeah. video where it's like no cheaters. Right. No, no, like these guys abusing drugs. And, you know, so many times in these sales orgs, they're just people. Give me bodies. Give me bodies. Mm. They throw mud at the wall and whatever sticks. 
where like a couple weeks ago, you know, we let one of our managers go Good. because his values weren't aligned with ours. Right? Yeah, best and, thing you can ever do to protect the and people the best that are thing was, that though, trust you. Right? The best thing was, Andy, you know, I went to Ben and and, uh, and Russ, our other partner, and I'm like, dude, this is what I think. And a million percent, they said, Tanner, we support your decision 100%. Go do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I and, love that. And that for me, like, you feel so empowered, but what it did for all the our, the rest of our leaders was the rest of them yeah. understood that, okay, these we, guys are real. We They're won't actually tolerate doing, yeah, we're not tolerating breaking that the bullshit. standards. Yeah, 100%. we understand mistakes happen, but if you intentionally know what's right and you do yes. what's wrong, we just yeah. can't be around you. That's, that's right. right. That's yeah, right. and I think that's the deal is that we've all turned our head. Once you start turning your head to something bad because you know that there's gain, Mm -hmm. That's where your company starts to dissolve and fade away. And yeah. I think that's where a lot of these solar companies right now are dissolving out because they turn their head to bad for a long time. Yeah. And when you guys are doing it right, the way you're doing it, like yeah. you're going to be around 10 years from now. Yeah. I mean, we protect our guys. Like we mean it when we say, you know, we are a family and we protect them like that. And that's missing everywhere right now in a lot of industries. Forget about solar. Any company with, can, how many people out there can say, yeah, I feel like the company I work for, uh, I feel like they're family. Uh, I never felt like that. Never. You know, in, in, you know, in any company that I'd ever worked with or at, um, we take that very seriously. Yeah, I and train, we, we train over 10,000 like companies, and most of the time, it's just every time I see these guys, they have a new team. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like they are. never, every time you're here, you see the same people. Yeah. Now you might see a few new guys that you're like, oh, you got yeah, this guy, this guy, but you can tell they kind of match the rest of the stuff going on. Yeah. Right. But like, we don't have turnover. Yeah. I mean, honestly, dude, if somebody leaves me, first thing is, is I don't ever say like, I can't believe the guy left me. I'm like, what did I, how could someone leave me? Right. I was thinking like, how could you leave me? Like, yep. I've done everything for you. I care about you more than anybody else. I love you more than anybody's ever loved you. I'm like, it, it bothers me, but I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Well, I think for... Like, they'll find, at the next place they go, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, or, or I know. Bro, like, they weren't ready to level up. So when they're in an environment like this where everybody's a dog, everybody's trying to be the one percenter, right? Yeah. They, they, they don't feel comfortable yeah. in that environment because they themselves aren't doing the right things. And so they'll just weed themselves out. That's right, man. And that's, and we, that's what I see over and over again. Yeah, we don't need one percenters stepping into the building, but we want you to want to be one percenters. You have to want it. Yeah. You have to want You'd it. rather build a one percenter than go hunt one down at another company. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude, I'd and rather that's teach why. the puppy new, like, new tricks, train the puppy versus an old dog Yeah. who's got all these things that he's... You he know. can tell you about his 19 yeah. last jobs. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Dude, yeah. I don't like that shit. Jobs. Dude, listen, when we hire people here, like this is the truth. Like everybody, so every day we get a thousand resume, resumes that say, oh, I'm a sales trainer. Hey, I train these, I coach. We just go. Yeah. Like, listen, no disrespect. I love you. But when I got that guy that's like, hey, man, you know, my dad was killed when I was 10 years old. You know, I, I overcame adversity. You know, I, uh, am, I was raised poor. I've been educating, I've been studying, I've been hitting mm -hmm. the gym hard. I've got my mind right, my mental clarity. I know who I want to become. I got big dreams, big visions. I'm looking for a great organization. I'm looking for a good leader. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they, I, they've come to a training. Yeah. If you ask me for a job and you haven't been to a training, there's no way in hell I'd hire you. No way right. in hell. Right. You know, so, so like my point is though with, with companies, it's like I would rather grab someone that's ready to change their life and then so I can give them all that I got. They're ready to give all they got. It's like dynamite going off. Yeah. You know, versus trying to recruit someone from someone else's company or anything like that. And yeah. they're just going to come over and they have no loyalty to you. They're going to be gone in a year from now. And you're always going to restart. And I love that you guys don't like people like that. And, um, and that's the reason why you guys are kicking people's asses. And one percenters can come and join your companies yeah. that mm -hmm. have been good to their other companies, but you're not taking on dead baggage. Right. And you and know, for, that, for numbers sake. Yeah. And to that point, I mean, I, I, I do love the guys who have experience, who have been in solar. They're just like you. And dude, they've, they've been hurt. Yeah. They've been screwed over. Yeah. Yeah. Expectations haven't been met. Yep. And so when those guys come into our org and they see the way they that we run it. They have to kill it. Bro, yeah. they kill it. Yeah, I was going to say they have to kill it. I would recommend anybody that's been in the solar era, you know, if you're not happy, and I say if you're not happy where you are, yeah. the number one goal in life is just to be happy. Yeah. Okay? Like, truthfully, at the end of the day, yeah. your goal is to never have someone go leave a place to go be miserable to mm -hmm. make more money. If you're happy where you are, that's the number one thing. Yeah. But if you're not happy, I want to tell you, you can't have it all. Mm -hmm. There are companies that you can make a lot of money, you can have a family, you can be happy, you can take care of yourself. Yeah. Yep. 
and that'll happen. I mean, we recently had a professional crew come in and record, you know, for training purposes, some of our guys, you know, tell their stories and why they're at Anova, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and with experience, little to, uh, some have a lot, some have little. And it was fascinating to me. So few of them talked about selling solar and being successful in solar, which they are, uh -huh. but every single one of them Talk talked about, the about their story and the company yeah. and why they're here for the people and why they're, why they're here because they love the people. They love this brotherhood and sisterhood and that we've created. That was awesome to me. Like that was, that's what I, that's what we want. It makes you guys want to go 10 times harder. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's two oh, things yeah. that you guys did really right. Number one, you created an environment for greatness. Yeah. Like that's, you guys did that. Yeah. The environment in the military, why someone will die for someone else and not say, see their family anymore, but give up their life for someone else and jump on a grenade is because they know the other person would do it for them. Yeah. That's, yeah. you guys have created the ultimate environment. And then, and then number two, I think you guys all have a little bit of brokenness in you. So you guys all have grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when people come into this environment, you're not really like, so what happened? What did you do at your last place? You're like, do listen, who do you want to become? Yeah. I really don't give a fuck about any of that. Like, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Okay, it's not about who you are. It's about who you're becoming. Who do you want to become? Okay, and by, by the way, once you tell me, I'm going to hold you accountable to become mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody wants an accountability partner. I yeah. think everybody wants to tell somebody what they want, and they want mm -hmm. someone to help them see that through. That's and, right. And sometimes they don't say that, right? But the truth is, your mom and your dad... They're not going to be the ones that put their arms around you and Andy and say, hey, man, I need you to do this or I need you to do that better. They just want you to like them, right? Yeah. And they just want to keep you happy. They want to keep you safe. And, and truthfully, love you, mom, love you, dad. But a lot of times these conversations are very surface level where with some of our guys, I let them know beforehand, bro, if those are your goals, if those are your aspirations, if that's the guy you want to become, I'm going to tell you when you're doing something wrong. Yeah. I'm going to correct you. I'm going to be that coach, yeah. right? And, you know, I played all these sports and – when I was younger and didn't realize these lessons, my coach got on my ass. And you know what I did? I was like quitting. I'm like, dude, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, go. Who's I'll, this I'll guy? Go. Yeah. Who are you? Go to tell me. Right? Yeah. And, and the so, only guy that wanted you to be better. Yeah, man. And it, and it <laughs> just took a few people to bet on me and to tell, tell, call me out on my weaknesses. Well, and then you go work for another guy. And he's like, bro, I don't care how you are. We'll take you. Oh, that guy don't give a flag. shit yeah. about you. No. Yeah. So, like, no. people are like, dude, my last boss was a dick. He was making. It's like, bro, like. You see, you want to go work for somebody that doesn't care about you at all. Yeah. Like that's the fastest way to give up your whole career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything 100%. you've ever worked for. Dope. You know what I mean? Um, but there's a, there's a number three. You said two things, yeah, right? There's a yeah, number three that we did. This is kind of a segue for you, right? We were talking about this. I mean, we talked about it a lot, but we were especially talking about it before the podcast. You can't do it alone. Oh, yeah. You need Huge. help. And for us, right, Andy, you've been, I mean, they're, they're, we, I, I, you can't put a price tag on the partnership that we've had with you and what you've been able to do for us. We've had, I don't know, hundreds, hundreds of recruits come through, mm -hmm. right, via the, the Andy Elliott group, the Andy Elliott Army. And to us, like, not doing it alone, don't think you can do it alone. It's just like the lone wolf mentality. Even when you are a family, when you have a company, when you have bulletproof operations, you still need help. You're dangerous and, and, together. And there's, no, and there's no reason that, you know, you should be doing it alone and not get help. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we were talking about some things that we were wanting to do. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. We're yeah. doing this live. What is it? All right. Andy, you believe in us, right? Yeah. You've seen the people come through the door, have success, right? Uh-huh. All right. 50 people. The next 50 people that are going to send us a text message, we'll drop the number. Uh, we're going to hold. I've seen your new place, bro. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do a mastermind at your place. I'm cool. Let's All figure right. it out. The next 50 people, uh, if you guys are looking for the next opportunity, whether you've been in solar, whether you've been in sales, uh, hit us up. Come see what we're about and see if this is the right fit for you guys to level up and really become the 1%. Mm -hmm. We're going to hold a mastermind at Andy's new pad, uh, overlooking the view, the pool. I've seen it. It's beautiful. And uh, this is my guy. So if you want to level up, be next to the best people, yeah. um, come and join us. Come and see what this is about. I promise we can bring you guys in and teach you from A to Z. We have all the tools, all of the resources to get it done. We're transparent. There's no, like, you want to see what we look to and how we level up and how we strive? This guy. I mean, you, right? I mean, it's, and we've, we've had. We all have the same yeah. Um, heart. Yeah. 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 Well, and so if we can give even 50 people that opportunity, man, I would have died for that.
Yeah. I would have. I would have. I think my first seminar came. I, I think I was trying to, you know, break the record. I brought like 60 people here. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And it was really apparent to see the guys during the lunch breakouts that were saying, oh, you know, this is a little too much. His shorts are a little too tight, whatever the case was, right? <laughs> yeah. And then the other guys were like, oh, I needed the slap in the face. Oh, yeah. I need a level up. Yeah. I'm taking my notes. This is why I'm taking back to the team. And you saw who, who won and yeah. who didn't win. And fast forward two years, like my core group, these are the guys that were like, I want this. I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm yeah. going to go take it. And it's mine. And I love talking to leaders from other companies. And they're like, oh, I see this guy's a manager. This guy's a manager. I'm like, yeah, he's out earning you and his team's bigger. Right? Where guys like look down on him. Yeah. And so helping guys level up, like I don't care what you came from, what your background was. You know, I actually did go to college. I have a finance degree. I had tons of opportunities in front of me. I stayed in the industry because of all the people. And they were the ones making me better. Yeah, you know everybody. That's what I love about Tanner. He knows everybody. That's true. I'm a social butterfly. You know I mean? That's yeah. true. <laughs> but his his energy is unreal. Yep. Um, he is a student of learning. Yep. He's ultra coachable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's uh, his heart is huge. Yeah. I've seen him talk on stage. A lot of times he'll tear up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he wears his heart right here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. just loves everybody. Yeah. You know? So to hear him say last night when he was like, I've never, it's never been easier for me to recruit yeah. in his career. That's, you know, means a lot to me, right? Yeah. Well, it's because he knows he's taking them to a place that he knows that they're safe. Yes. And I think in the past he's done it and he knew they were going to make money, but he didn't, he couldn't promise them everything else. That's right. For the first time in his life, he can promise them everything. Yes. And like, that's why this still is going to work. It's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. So anybody watching this super important, we'll roll this out. Um, if they want to follow you guys on social media, how do they follow you? Uh, okay, my Instagram handle Tanner Hill number seven. Okay. Tanner Hill number seven Instagram. Yep. Ben and Nova Home. That's it. Yeah. Ben and Nova and Home. From there, you guys will find Anova underscore Sales. Uh, that's our sales Instagram. You guys can follow us along with all of our incentives, our trip. We just brought sixty people out to you know the Bahamas, and uh, you know, obviously we work really hard. We play hard too. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. And These guys have fun. Listen, you got to understand this. I don't, you got a girlfriend, bring her with you. You got a nope. boyfriend, bring him with mm -hmm. you. You got a family, bring him with mm -hmm. you. You got kids, mm -hmm. bring him with you. This is your opportunity if you are wanting something different. If you're wanting a better life, you want to earn more money, if you want to be around the right people, you want to be closer to us. Like, this is how you do it. It's that simple. Okay? We got one life. It's short. We got a lot to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's not waste another freaking day. Nope. Okay? So you got to see the number on the screen if you guys want to join these guys. It said the next 50 kick ass shit cool mastermind make sure you guys text that number and then obviously tanner i appreciate you bro, he's getting in good here, shape bro, bro. He, he ain't even playing oh, yeah. no, we're I, hey start. i can't wait to see your, bi your business your business partner he better be taking care of himself too. oh yeah bust his ass. oh yeah no he he is he okay is. good he is yeah all yeah. right good man all right we love you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next podcast see you there Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.